Hi, today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to subtract mixed numbers with like denominators. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. Two thirds is a proper fraction, given that the numerator, two, is less than the denominator, three. Nice! We are ready for the first example. In this example, we need to subtract 7 and 2 thirds minus 5 and 1 third. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have the same denominator. To find the difference, first, we need to subtract the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 7 and 5 in this problem. So we put 7 minus 5, and 7 minus 5 give us 2. Next, we put 2 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 2 thirds and 1 third. We put 2 thirds, 2 thirds minus 1 third. These two fractions have the same denominator. 3 on the left, 3 on the right, 3 on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. And 2 minus 1 give us 1. Perfect. The difference of the fractions is 1 third. Finally, we add the difference of the fractions to the difference of the whole numbers. We put one third next to two holes. In that way, seven and two thirds minus five and one third give us two and one third. Let's move on to another example. In this example, we need to subtract nine and seven eighths minus four and one eight. These two mixed numbers have the same denominator, eight and eight. To find the difference, first, we need to subtract the whole numbers. The whole numbers are nine and four. Come over here, 9 minus 4 give us 5. Next, we can put 5 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 7 eighths and also 1 eighth. So we put 7 eighths minus 1 eighth. These two fractions have the same denominator, 8 on the left, 8 on the right, 8 on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. 7 minus 1 give us 6. Pay attention over here, because 6 eighths is a fraction that we can simplify. So we're going to simplify this fraction dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. By 2, ready? 6 divided by 2 give us 3. And 8 divided by 2 give us 4. 3 fourths is a fraction in its simplest form. And we cannot simplify it anymore. So finally, we add 3 fourths to the difference of the whole numbers. That is correct. We add the difference of the fractions to the difference of the whole numbers. In that way, 9 and 7 eighths minus 4 and 1 8 give us 5 and 3 fourths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!